Hello everybody, this is Zaxter99. Want to go ahead and give you guys some great news here about Dead by Daylight. As you see, this game I was playing a little bit earlier. No, the fact that Swin here got knocked down uh, is not good news. He's a cool dude. Definitely check him out. Swin420 over on Twitch. I'll have the link down below. But uh, he's definitely an awesome Twitcher. What I'm actually talking about, guys, is this right here. Right at the very top of my game screen, you see it shows my killer ping as I'm connected to a Dead by Daylight killer. And it shows that throughout the game, showing you, you know, not only the killer's uh, ping time, but this application that you can get right now does show you whether the killer is blocked uh, on your Steam uh, page. So, great application here, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to install it. And this is authorized by the developers of Dead by Daylight. They just announced this hours ago. It is completely safe to use. You will not be banned for using this application. Let me go ahead and show you guys how to use this right now. All right, so what you're going to do to get uh, the MLGA uh, application or add-on, you're simply going to come to this link, which I'll have a, a link down below in the description, guys. So you're going to come here, it's going to look like this, okay? And all you're going to do here is you want to avoid all this. Okay, so really it's not what you want. Go ahead and come down here, and you're going to want to make sure you have Java, the latest version of Java. If you don't already have that, click on this link, update on. After that, you're going to go ahead and download NPCAP right wherever you have your downloads at. Firefox is up here, I believe. Uh, with Chrome, it's down here in the bottom left, unless you've changed it. But once you click that link, it's going to come up here, and it's going to have this NPCAP uh, website. So here, what I do is I just grab, and you know, if you have any version of Windows, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, whatever, uh, it doesn't matter if it's 32-bit or 64-bit, doesn't matter. Just grab this first link here. The NCAP.86 installer is what it is currently. It might be a higher version if you're watching this video later down the line. But go ahead and grab that. It's going to download here. You see that I've already downloaded and installed this, but I want to show you what it looks like. And this is this is probably the most difficult part of installing the MLGA, um, which stands for Make Lobbies Great Again application. So once you download this, you're going to want to go ahead and open it. And you'll see, you won't normally see this. This is uh, NPCAP version 0.86 is already installed. So if you install it wrong, you can always go ahead and just double click it again, find it in your downloads folder or whatever, or re-download it again, and hit yes here to reinstall with different options in case you do actually set it up wrong. Okay, so when you grab this NCAP installer and you download it and you launch it, it's going to have NPCAP.86 setup. You're going to go ahead and agree. Of course you want to read all this. Read every word. Make sure you understand uh, completely every single word. Just kidding. Just go ahead and click the I agree. Now right here, don't just jump ahead and click install because that will mess you up. What you want to do is you want to make sure these first two check marks are checked. And then you want to make sure you come down here and check this last check mark. Install NCAP in win pcap api compatible mode this has to be checked or your mgla uh, application will not work so make sure that you have the first two checked and make sure this last one here install in pcap in win pcap apa compatible api compatible mode is installed and it'll go ahead and install the required version of in pcap all right once it completes guys it's going to say completed up here you go ahead and hit next and it'll say it's been installed in your computer. You don't need to reboot your computer or anything like that. Just click finish. Okay. Then you're going to go ahead and come back up here from your NPCAP. You want to go back to the original uh, MLGA website, which I have linked down below. And uh, this is the only link you'll need is this link here because the Java link is right here and the NPCAP link is right here. Okay. And again, if you don't can't find them, it's just scrolling down once you go here. So then it says simply double click the MLGA jar file to run. Well, where the heck is that? Well, don't come up here. It's nowhere in these fine files or anything like that. You don't need to go there. All you want to do is MLGA releases right here, this little blue link. Go ahead and click that. 
And if you don't know where that was, guys, it's right above where you're installing the MP cap, right above this link. So again, it's just right up here. So click this link. And it'll have the latest version of the Make Lobbies Great Again. Go ahead and just click on this MLGA JAR application right here. So once you click on that, it's going to go ahead and download in that. And it's going to come down here and it's going to say, uh, this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep the JAR anyway? And I'm going to go ahead and discard this because I already have the MLGA. So I'm just going to go ahead and discard it, but you will get that little warning. You just have to agree to it. So guys, if it's important also to note that if you have the UAC is enabled, what is that? Um, it stands for user account control. It's on Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8. If you have Windows 10, don't worry about it. But if you have Windows 7 or 8, or you wouldn't have Vista and be playing Dead by Daylight. But if you have Windows 7 or 8, uh, it's possible you could have user account control enabled. Uh, if so, then you need to just take these steps right here to go ahead and create a notepad file. Let me show you how to do that. But just in case you don't know what UAC is, you can simply type what is UAC in Google search, and it's going to show you what it is, uh, where it's out, and how to uh, basically turn it on and off. Okay? So I wouldn't recommend changing that, especially if it's not your computer, like if it's your parents' computer or whatever. But if it is turned on, you just want to go ahead and follow these steps. So what it's going to tell you is it's going to tell you to uh, right click wherever you have your MLGA application. So what I've done is I've came to my computer and I've went to my downloads folder and from my downloads folder guys I simply grabbed the ULGA or the MLGA sorry the MLGA application that I just downloaded I dragged it from my downloads folder and I dragged it out to the desktop. Okay. So once you do that if, this, uh, if you do have UAC enabled, you're going to want to go ahead wherever you drag, wherever you have your MLGA application uh, to launch it. You're going to want to go ahead and right click. So for me, it would just be the desktop now because my MLGA is in the desktop. So this is only if you have user account control enabled. So you're going to go ahead and come here, go to new. So you're going to right click on your desktop. You're going to go new. You're going to go to text document. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and double click that to open that. Once you double click that to open that text file that you just created, you're going to go ahead and type in, I would just go ahead and copy and paste this. Copy, paste, and then you're just simply going to come to file as it says right here, choose save as, so go to file, save as, and then you're going to name it uh, MLGA bat. MLGA dot BAT stands for batch and then it's important that you want to make sure you have the option all files selected so you need to change this from text document to all files and then go ahead and save that okay once you save that guys you can close this and you can go ahead and delete that go ahead and delete that and your MLGA bat should be on your desktop okay and just leave that wherever you have your MLG application. Okay. So then, before you launch Dead by Daylight, now you've done everything you need to do. Again, you only had to do that last part if you had user account control enabled. Okay, which I didn't have. But now, before you launch Dead by Daylight, all you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and double click on your MLGA file. It'll take a minute. And what it's going to do is it's going to come up with a little window like this somewhere on your computer. And you can drag it around. And it's basically going to show your IP address. Okay. Uh, if it doesn't have your IP address there, then you want to go ahead and uh, try to find it in the drop down. If it doesn't have it in your drop down, your IP address, your LAN IP address, you want to go ahead and put your IP address in this blank spot here. Okay. Then you're going to go ahead and hit start. And once you do that, it's going to come up with a little, uh, your little MLG application here. Okay, so once you launch this, guys, it's going to tell you your ping time, which I don't even have Dead by Daylight running right now, but it is going to show your ping time and whether the killer's blocked or not. Right now, I'm not even in a game, so it just says blocked. 
Okay, but it's important to note here that it'll say killer ping time if they're not blocked, or it'll say blocked if you have that killer blocked uh, on your Steam account. Okay, so here, right here on the same page that I'm linking down below, guys, the same page where you downloaded all this stuff at, it shows you here uh, the primary feature is determined ping. Okay, you'll show, you'll see here that I have blocked enabled because I had uh, held down shift and right clicked on it to basically show the blocked mode. So if you hit shift while you right click on this right here, make sure your cursor is on that. It'll go from basically the just the ping to showing whether the killer is blocked as well. Okay. If you hit shift control and right click, it'll show you whether the killer is somebody that you love. Okay. And if you just simply right click on it, it's going to go to killer mode. Okay. And that's it. Um, and then if you want to drag this around and put it wherever you want on your desktop, remember this is going to show up over the Dead by Daylight uh, game. So you just double click it. And then you can move it around wherever you want on your screen. Okay, I like to put it like right in the center. And then once I got it where I want it, just double go ahead and click it again. That way it's locked in place and you can't move it. Okay. So then you see when I launch Dead by Daylight here, your indicator is going to be right up here and it's going to show up over your game, which is pretty cool. So then you go in and you play as a killer or survivor. Again, remember if you're playing killer and you want to show survivors that are blocked, which I don't know why you would because you already have that built into the game. So you'll probably only use this at least right now at this given time. You'll probably only use this when you play a survivor. So again, you're going to want to go ahead and join a lobby. And again, before you even get into the lobby, it's going to show you your killer ping time and the ping time that you actually have. And again, if this was a blocked killer on my Steam, uh, you know, on my Steam profile or my Steam page, it would actually say blocked right here. Now, this is also going to show up in red if you get up, you know, like I think over 150, 175, something like that. Uh, if it is red, it means it's not the greatest connection. So you might want to consider actually backing out of the game. But well, that's how it works, guys. And then you just go ahead and ready up. And as you play the game, it'll actually show you your killer ping time as you play. So if you have a, a lag spike, for example, while you're connected to the killer, you'll see this number shoot way up. So hopefully that helps you guys out. If you guys did get some help, if you guys, uh, if this video has helped you out, make sure you hit me a like down below. I would certainly appreciate that. Be sure you comment down below with any questions, problems, anything like that. And I'll definitely try to help you out. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Zach, 39. Have a good one, guys.